Hello and greetings to all. On this video, I'll teach how to install uh, Redmine. Uh, Redmine is actually a project management software. Works really good. Um, for this particular customer, I'm setting it up. It's going to he, they do service construction so forth. So um, on this part one of the video, I'll show how to install it. Um, probably part three and four and or two or whatever. I'll go ahead and show how you actually manage it. So this is actually going to be the, the the actual setup of it. So let's jump right in. Uh, let me open my Chrome. And where you want to go is uh, bitnami.com. And here you'll find all the different um, you know, all the different ways that you can actually set it up. The one we're we're going to run it on is actually this one. Uh, red Nami right here. I mean, yeah, Red Mine. So Red Mine, you can click on that, and the setup that I'm going to do today is going to be on a virtual machine. So it's going to be virtual machine here. It's pretty sweet because they already have it all set up for you. So there's no, there's very little tweaking that you're going to do to the actual setup. Um, so I always download the one that they recommend, um, unless for whatever reason I find it, it's off. But yeah, they're recommending the latest and greatest. So we're gonna click on that. Uh, no thanks to this. That's up to you. So you can see down here is actually downloading. So okay. So once it finishes downloading, you're gonna open your uh, file manager. Here's my my manager. So now I can actually close it. My Chrome. Let me get rid of that. So let me go to my downloads, and here it is right here. And all we're going to do is basically open your virtual your virtual machine. I mean, your yeah, your virtual box, excuse me. And you're just going to go ahead and let me close that. You're just going to go here under file, import application, click on that. And then you're going to navigate to wherever you download it. So it's actually here, downloads. So here's the actual OVA file. So click on open, next. And I do recommend that you actually put a check on this or tack on this re uh, reinitialize the MAC address. That way you won't bring in someone else's MAC address. Um, it'll just generate a new one for you. And we're going to import. All the settings that they set up for you are actually good. So it's going to take, it takes roughly about two minutes, depends on your computer. Um, but yeah, it takes about two minutes. We're going to go ahead and, um, I'll pause the video to, to right now. Okay. So, um, you can see now it's actually installed right here. So we're going to go ahead and click on start and you can see it doesn't use too much memory. Uh, you can see that right here. Okay. So I'm going to get this thing out of the way so it's not. What I do, if especially if I'm be running a couple virtual machines, I actually go under View and switch it over to Scale Mode. Um, and it tells you that to get out of it, you're going to hit on the Home or the Host, excuse me. Host is, what they're talking about is the right control key on your keyboard. Remember, the right key. So I'm just going to switch it and you'll notice that now I can actually either make this small, big, or whatever, and it's going to scale. So that way, when I do it on the, on the customer sites, I just kind of leave it on a little corner, real tiny. Um, it does take a little bit to turn on, so um, yeah. And remember, bitnami is the user, and the password is also bitnami. Now it's going to ask you to change it. So here, you can see right here on the right on the current password. So we have to enter the current password. So it's bit nami. And then it's gonna ask us for the new password. So you're gonna enter your own password. And you're gonna confirm it. Okay, so now that was successful, and it tells us where our what IP we were. Or actually we could just type in IF config and it'll give us what our local IP is which is 
114. So let's get this thing out of the way because we don't need it no more because now it's running on the network. So now if I go here, I type in 199.168.71.114, I'm going to be greeted by the actual um, Redmine P, uh, project management. And you just sign in over here. And let's see that it works. It should be user and then your password. Remember, just for right now, it's going to be bit. Oops. Bit. Um, so there we are. This is what you're greeted to at the very beginning. Uh, on the next video, I'll show you how you start managing uh, projects and so forth. Um, again, thanks for watching.